Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. We begin with the West Nile virus making its way into Acadiana. News 10's Dawson D'Amico joins us in studio as he reports where it was found and what the community is doing to stop it. Dawson. That's right, Dalfrey. Days after the West Nile virus was detected by the Iberia Parish Mosquito Control, the first reported human case of the virus has been reported in Acadiana. LSU School of um, Veterinary Medicine, Animal Disease, uh, Iberia Parish sent samples to, to them. And the, the West Nile virus activity in the mosquito samples uh, submitted for testing by Iberia Parish showed some activity. Herb Jones of the Iberia Parish Mosquito Control Center says the discovery is something he expected. Not a surprise, uh, West Nile virus and its related uh, cousins, the other encephalitis virus, viruses, are endemic to Louisiana and to the United States, meaning that they are part of our biological and ecological systems uh, where we live um, for good. In 2022, 13 cases of the West Nile virus have been reported in Louisiana, along with two recorded deaths. With the virus making its way back into Acadiana, Iberia Parish is taking the necessary measures in order to prevent the spread. But what we're doing, we're going to have some aerial spray that's going to take place, and uh, you're going to have, you know, citizens is going to be noticing low-flying aircrafts and. Uh, and that's what's going to be taking place. Areas all over Iberia Parish will be sprayed. The generate area will be the main area sprayed, along with Delcom, Avery Island, and other rural areas around the parish. There are still other ways to prevent the spread of the disease. Uh, we want to wear those uh, uh, repellents when we're outdoors. We want to be aware of our activities and our outdoor exposure at the hours of dawn and dusk. That's when mosquitoes are most active. And we can also wear uh, lightweight, light-colored clothing to help ward off an extra, uh, a attractant signature you know, for the insect as well. Additional information on the West Nile virus and how to prevent the spread of the disease, you can find that on our website at klfy.com. Dawson D'Amico, KLFY, News 10. Thank you, Dawson.